This is a camel, and camel is one of the best uh, modes of transportation through desert. Allah has made it specifically with special features. For example, the hooves, if you look at the hooves, they are flat, they are made for sand. Camels can easily travel on sand. If you look at the eyelashes there, they are excessively big, they are excessively large. This is for the purpose of protecting the eyes of the camel from dust, dust storms, and even the eye of the camel has layers okay, that protect it from uh, sandstorms. I know these things because I had to look at some of the, the signs of Allah's creation and Allah's power and Allah's majesty in creating species and animals. So this particular animal Allah has created uh, with very special features to last in uh, terrains and climates like the desert climate. Camels can last without drinking water for days. They store water. They store water in their body and they have very, very special features that cannot be found in other animals. So for that reason, you know, when you look at these things, uh, you, you come to realize that this is not accidental. This is planned. This is some someone making this happen for the, the region, for the climate, for the, for, for the circumstances, for the conditions. It's called the ship of the desert. Yeah, subhanAllah. Ship. What about the story of Abu Bakr and the Prophet Yeah, preparing the camel. The Prophet ﷺ traveled on the camel from Makkah to Medina for eight days. The Prophet was traveling. All the Sahaba, they would tra travel on the camels. It was this animal that took Islam from Arabia to North Africa all the way mm. up to uh, Morocco and into Spain. It was this animal the Muslims used to ride to, uh, to to travel on uh, as far as India, okay? So Allah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala used this animal to spread Islam around the world. This is why this animal is very special. For us Muslims, this is a very special animal. Rasulullah had his own female camel called Qaswa. There was a female camel called Qaswa. So I personally have special love uh, for this animal. It just makes me feel very, you know, Happy when I look at some, a beautiful thing like this. Brother Khalid, what, what place is this? Ukhreb. Ukhreb. Yeah. Where are we? Where are we now? In Qatar? I'm Qatar. <laughs> okay, mashallah. Doha. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. So as, as you brothers and sisters, mashallah, we are here, alhamdulillah, in Qatar. And we had the opportunity to see these race camels. Beautiful animals, as you can see. There are lots and lots of them here. Um, mashallah, these brothers, they... They own them. They cost millions. Each animal here costs millions, you know, like mashallah, very beautiful animals. As you Allah can see. says in the Quran, specifically giving an example of camel. You know, Allah uses the example of camel. Do you not see how Allah created the camel? Yeah. And Allah is speaking to the Arabs directly in this case. Yeah. Those who are disbelieving in the Prophet and rejecting the message, Allah was telling them. Do you not see how we created the camel? Because the Arabs, they know what camel is. Mm. They know how it is made and they know what it can do. And the value. How special. They value uh, it, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. absolutely. So Allah gave them a relevant example. Look at the camel and then think who created it, absolutely. where it came from. Yeah. So it's very important to remember this. But Abbas, you want to say something? Yeah. Um, Camels also produce nice sausages. <laughs> Have you tried them? Camel sausages. You tried them? <laughs> Alhamdulillah. I think they the camel run quite fast. Brother Khalid, tell yeah. me something about the camel milk. I think there's a lot of barakah in there as well, isn't it? Yeah. The milk? Yeah. The milk is very, yeah? it's very good and, it, and it's, it's very healthy also. Yeah. Uh, I will let you... <laughs> we'll try some yeah. later. Did you before or? I think yeah, I tried it. You know, in fresh London, one. in London they sell it not fresh, but they sell it. Uh, I've tried it in the Regent's Park Masjid. Oh, they sell it in there. Talk about the camel. Yeah. yeah if you want to talk something, you no, want to you say wanna something? talk. I'll the No, I'm alright. Alhamdulillah. I've talked about the camel uh, okay. thingy, the, the milk. You want to say something? Assalamu alaikum. So this is our uh, brother, brother Chris. Mashallah. Welcome to Doha in uh, Qatar. Oh, we spend oh, we are far bit. away from Doha. That's a city. It's in Doha, I said that. Yeah, no, it's, 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 it's far away from, yeah, Doha. Far away far from, away from Doha. Doha. A Shahania. Shahania. Yeah. Well, where are we then, brother? North, yeah? North, north of Qatar? Are we north or south? I, th I think north. North, I yeah? Think, okay, I, we're 30 I, I, minutes away from Doha. Yeah. Isn't it? 
Yeah, yeah. Mashallah. Yeah. So, alhamdulillah, we're here to see the race camels and it's a great experience, alhamdulillah. Uh, we've had a great time. Our brother here has uh, invited us for a meal and yeah, full of camels, alhamdulillah. alhamdulillah. There's nowhere as hospitable as uh, hospitality as, uh, in Qatar. as our, our yeah. brother, in brothers Qatar, in Qatar. Yeah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. I'm here with Uncle Abbas from the Abdawa, brother Chris Biglad from the Abdawa, and I'm here with Uncle Hashem from Dawa Vice, alhamdulillah. And I'm also here with brother Khalid, mashallah, who invited us. May Allah preserve him and make his appearance 